just crossed over into the twilight zone. The twilight zone. You are now traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of fuckery, but of fuckery so insane that the human mind can hardly comprehend it. And can hardly comprehend it. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> ayo, 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 it's your boy CJ, and we back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. And guess what? Guess what? We got the new camera going today. I usually don't like using this camera because my teeth are horrific, so don't be zooming in on my teeth. Do not do it. Don't do it. But yeah. Yeah, we're gonna finish off the Jackass 4 Forever interviews with your boy, and with your boy. It says in the title, Knoxville, Steve-O, Wee Man, England, Pontius, Lacey, Tremaine, and Aaron. And so I'm excited for this. We stopped off at Steve-O, Wee Man, and Pontius. And we're gonna finish their, their interview and I think there'll be more interviews on top of that. So I'm excited to jump right into this. Um, I'll start with you, Steve. Steve, I know you've been very open about your, everything. And I, I think what you do is so brilliant because you help so many freaking people when you talk about that stuff. So I just hope you know how many people are helped by that. Well, thanks, man. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, I mean, like in, for me, everything's changed and nothing's changed. You know, um, I kind of live a double life. Every it's so true because... If you seen Steve-O the way Steve-O was 10, 15 years ago, you would have thought he was going to die at any moment. And it was honestly sad to see, but it was hilarious. Not going to lie, I hate to say that it was hilarious, but you cannot tell me it wasn't. Some of the stuff he was doing was so funny. And then you could see some moments where it's just like, that was so dumb, what were you thinking? Of course, the drugs were thinking at that moment. But Steve-O did come out with lots of funny things. Well, hammered and drugged up and it might have not been on purpose but still it was funny and now yeah like I said now seeing people like if he I did look up to him when I was a drug addict at one point too not so much I'm not gonna front but these types of people really did help me overcome my addiction so Steve-O's definitely a help to lots of people especially in like the jackass sphere right Everything's changed and nothing's changed, you know. Um, I kind of live a double life now where uh, I'm all careful about spiritual practice and, and and taking care of myself and all that. But then at the same time, I'm trying to shove things up my butt. And uh, he was supposed, to, I think that statement was supposed to be legitimate. But see how it just comes out so funny? Steve-O can't help himself but be funny and... I think he's more funny when he tries not to be funny. When he tries to be funny, he's funny, don't get me wrong. But it's just so much better when he tries not to be funny. Like, right there. that That's such a quotable. Like, my goodness. And I've heard of lots of celebrities having to deal with this. Like, especially wrestlers. Like, uh, Shawn Michaels. At one point, he was in a group called DX. And he was Degeneration X. He was a degenerate. And then he started getting into God and whatnot. And then... They asked him to do the DX role again, and he was just like, he didn't really want to do it, but he ended up doing it, but it was just, it ended up so corny, because back in the day, they were doing wild stuff, right? But back in 2000, like, let's just put, let's, let, let me put a time here. So back in the 90s, D, when DX came about, they, they were wild, just crazy. And when they did a, a little reunion gig in 2008, or somewhere around there, I forget. It was just so corny. They Shawn Michaels didn't want to do anything rude or anything offensive. And it just didn't come off good. And so that's why I think I'm saying Shawn Michaels and Steve-O are kind of dealing with the same thing. Steve-O doesn't want to be disrespectful. And I guess he's a Christian now, it seems like. And so he doesn't want to disrespect the man up there. But he also wants to make his fans laugh and blah 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 i understand where he's coming from and Shawn michaels that was the same thing pretty much sorry this is probably a shitty analogy but you're getting it it's true we man for you and i mean if you look at those 20 years like what's something you see that's changed and different uh from when we started to now 
I kind of used to just stress over things like in general life. And plus, yeah, 20 years later, they're so much older, but let, we man, take it over. And now 20 years later, I'm pretty much nonchalant. Don't give a about anything, you know, and I just go with the flow and, you know, life's been good and I just keep, keep rolling and not caring. That's why I like Wee Man so much. He doesn't try to be funny. He doesn't try to be anybody but himself. And I can respect that so much. So much. Out of everybody in the cast, they all have a little bit of a gimmick, right? But Wee Man never really had a gimmick but being short. And so you got to respect him for that. I love Wee Man to death. Wow. I've Chris learned that later in life, most older people, the first thing they say they would have taken back is caring what other people thought. Mm. And I thought, you know what, just let it all go, who cares? And that's what makes Jackass even more fun because we don't care, we, we love what we do, but we don't we don't care, like, we're not embarrassed. We're not, we don't, you know, we just do what we do. Oh, there's such a confidence. And yeah. the, the laughter out of it is much greater than anything you can have. And it's so true. They're so confident with themselves and they do not care. Like Wee Man said, like at one point, I'm pretty sure Steve-O and Pontius did a, uh, a like a wildlife tour where they went all around, like going to uh, foreign places with animals. And Steve-O at this point didn't want to do no gay stuff, right? Didn't want to do no flamboyant stuff, as we should say. And... Pontius was straight down for it. It's like, man, we're jackass. We're supposed to be doing this stuff. And Steve-O wasn't comfortable with himself at that time. And you could really tell, like, the way the footage is. And it's just not as good as before. And it w had such a good plot to it. Them going to other places to not screw around with animals, but to have fun with animals and stuff. And... Yeah, you could really tell Steve-O wasn't comfortable there. But you could see over the years he got more comfortable because at first he didn't care. But then I think he got the fame and people started knowing him. And so he got really insecure. People didn't know him then at the time where he was doing goofy stuff. Now people know him. So he was really insecure. But I'm so glad he got over that hump. If anybody remembers that, tell me in the comment down below. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, I honestly... Like what you said just now is so important because these films do that for people as well. Yeah. So Chris, for you, and like, what do you see in I, 20 years? I, I think from the first movie till now, I mean, I, I, I didn't realize at the beginning how special of a thing that we all had. And then, you know, I quickly did when the first movie came out and how big it was, but I think I was just valuing what we have. And like during this movie, all of us were, were yeah, I remember uh, Pawnee has told me in a cameo in the first uh, movie he didn't do as much and he could have done more if he if they if he uh, wanted to but he kind of stopped himself he didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal or they, he didn't know how much of a connection he was going to have with these guys right and so he always regretted not doing more in the first movie I remember uh, Chris saying that to me and so I'm glad he got to do more he was almost the star in this movie my star at least he was so good you know making every day like it was our last day you know filming ever like just making this one count and and um you know because just thankful to be to be able to be making another jackass movie like and i think yeah think about it dave could some of them might have died some of them could have been in bad shape uh, they could have, there could have been lots of things that could have went wrong, but most of the cast was there. Um, yeah, Bam's not there, which sucks so much. It would have made the movie just a little bit more better. But yeah, these he like he said he is so lucky that they were all able to do this, and I'm hoping for one more Jackass. But if this is the last one, they went down on a good bang like this was a good bang they went off on and i gotta give them respect for it straight why am i doing this but it's so much respect i love jackass for it. i don't care what anybody says but i'm really glad that they got to do this last movie but guys let's hope for the second movie right let's hope and it might not be all of the old cast some of them probably won't want to do the fourth movie some of them might not be able to right but we got new characters right we got jester we got Zach ass. We got poopies. Um, 
Shit, there was one more person. We Jester's dad, if he wants to join. There's a yeah, shit. So there could be a new Jackass movie, but not with the same cast. Maybe I could see Steve O still be in there and a few people, but I just don't think this was lucky. They can all get together like this and make this movie. And it took like two years or a year and a half. It was supposed to come out last year, I'm pretty sure. So I'm glad that they all stuck together and made this movie happen. They probably needed it for their bank accounts, some of them. Except for, like, Steve-O and Knoxville, maybe. And, like, yeah, some, some of these guys, not saying who, but some of these guys probably really needed the money. And I'm glad they got it because they deserve every cent from it. Every cent. In life, just like like we men said, like, not caring about what people think and and not trying to like control things. Life's really about what it throws at you and how you react to it. Yeah. It's not about what you plan because it never goes as planned. <clears throat> that is a perfect quote for Jackass. Man, that I got to give him a clap. Hokey smokes. Hokey smokes. Oh, you're, you're two clapping? Yo, I didn't expect you here. Seriously, good, huh? Sheesh. There was yeah, one where... Um, there's a bit I made up called Don't Poo on My Pee that we never <laughs> <laughs> we never got to film. So hopefully we'll make another movie. <laughs> see, I hope we get to make Chris's down for it. Man, I want to see what that skit's about. Pause. That is hilarious. I love Chris. He's such a little kid at heart, and that's what I love him for. That's what I love him for. That's why I love the guy so much. Straight up, he is so funny. Right, little buddy? Yeah. There was one where uh, they got a bounce house that we were all going to oh, go God. down um, like an Olympic ski jump in the bounce house. And uh, the problem was that what kept it inflated was a huge generator. And to have that it weighed like 500 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Have that like trailing behind us to land down on a us. huge mountain yeah, yeah, off yeah. a big jump. Real with, school speed jump. Yeah. It was, so we didn't it was do the that. worst idea. Yeah. yeah. We didn't do that. Yeah. <sighs> We man for you. Generator, we could hit our heads together. Yeah, it was a it was a human hamster ball, yeah, yeah. you know, like with a lot of hamsters. It was it was the yeah. worst idea ever. <laughs> right when I saw that, I was like, no. Nope. But couldn't you just pump it up to the very max, right, and then just jump off, or what? Yeah, maybe they're gonna tell us what's wrong with that. One second, let's hear what they got to say, right? Yeah. Yeah, have that like trailing behind us to land down on a us. huge mountain yeah, yeah. off yeah. a big jump. Real school speed jump. Yeah, it was, so we didn't it was the that. worst idea. Yeah. yeah, we didn't do that. Why? You could have just pumped it up at the very top, right? Right? And then just went for it. I'm sure it would still been pumped up by the end of it. It would obviously been a little bit inflated. But you could have pulled that off. I'm excited. That should be for the next movie too, guys. Got to remember that. If you see this, which you won't, but you should. You, We need to see that. And there is a way you could do it. There is a way. Even if you can get a small, like a small generator and tape it up somewhere or have somebody hold it inside. I don't know how you do that. There's a way. There's a will. There's a way. I still think you don't even need to bring the generator with you. Just pump it up to full max. And then once you're about to get out, once you're about to tip the thing down, pull the generator away and just let the thing go. See how long it'll last. Right? That'll work. Come on. I should make a YouTube video. I should steal their idea. <laughs> Jay to laugh. Fuck off a guy! Shut the fuck up! Yeah. We man for you? Generator. We could hit our heads together. Yeah, it, was a, it was a human hamster ball, yeah, you know, yeah. like with a lot of hamsters. It was it was the yeah. worst idea ever. <laughs> right when I saw that, I was like, nope. That's not <laughs> yeah. happening. Yeah. Yeah. And we man for you, anything that was presented to you? That was like that you that never did, but that was insane. No, I usually try and talk at myself or talk Jeff and out me out of him, like the bits he brings. But in the end, I still end up doing. Hey, it. yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. There's nothing. Uh, yeah, you kind of know when you when a bit's for you. I yeah. think. And he, some bits just certain. 
You're just How do you figure that out? Yeah, so like a certain stature, you know what I'm saying? All we're saying is, you know what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? Like if you need a little guy running away from a big fat guy, it's just a perfect scene. Something to look at, right? A midget running away from a big old... When I say midget, people want me to say midget. I've heard so many little people say, I don't want to be called little people. I want midget. So I'm saying midget. I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but I don't at the same time. Oh, I do, but... But yes, like, what was he saying? I'm getting all, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. I think, and he, some bitches certain. You're just. Oh, you're, like I was saying, like, little, like, if you need to add a little person and adding a little person would be funny, we man's the job, right? There's lots of certain, like, stunts or skits where if you just add a little person, it's just a little bit more funnier, if you know what I'm saying. All we're saying is, you know what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? You figure that out. Like, for that bit. Yeah. Like, how do you figure out, Steve, that you would get the B bit? Is that, do you present it? Um, <laughs> I heard about it. I said, I want that. And then I said, I want that to be my new skateboard pro model. That's dope. <laughs> what a little, like, uh, what is it? Plug? Plug for the skateboard? I've seen it on his website. That's awesome. Well, guys, this has been a pleasure. I really appreciate it. As a fan, this movie was everything I wanted and needed in a Jackass movie. You guys are awesome. I appreciate the deep dive as well into the emotions of what these movies mean as well. So I appreciate it, guys. Cool. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Hey, Thanks for having us. How old are you, man? I'm 37. 37. Because yeah. uh, you're really holding it together fine, dude. That's, <laughs> yeah, I would have guessed 27. I would have guessed my age. My word. That's crazy. But, you know, I, I got to give respect to the interviewer because he actually seemed like a fan. He knew what he was talking about. He had a couple questions that were answered a lot throughout their history. But still really good questions. And I'm glad, like I said before, that they just didn't add in some random person and then just ask random questions that were made up for him. It actually seemed like it was his questions, which you got to give mad respect for. I, yeah. I hope this guy does more interviews with the Jackass crew and just in general. But guys, I'm going to end this here, make this part two, and then I'll have part three done probably this week or next week sometime. But guys, man, these guys are just golden. They are so funny. They're, they're, each of them are a needle in a haystack, and it's so funny how they each found each other to make a movie, Jackass, and then Jackass 2, Jackass 3D, blah, blah. It's amazing. It's funny how life works like that. Sometimes life doesn't work for anybody. It just goes down the drain, right? And it, everything gets worse and worse for somebody. Or, for some people, it can get, just get better and better and better. It all depends where you live, who you are, karma. I believe in karma and so I hope they do more stuff together even if it's not a new jackass movie maybe they can have like a show together I want them to make a whole YouTube channel for them to add some stunts some interviews lots of all different things they could do on YouTube and it would just be amazing or have their own website so they can also do it like Steve-O has his own website and he puts his comedy skits on it where you, you could see his balls and butthole. And you can put jackass stuff on there, the crazy stunts that you can't put on YouTube. Sorry, I'm rambling right now. But I just have so many ideas what they can do. And I hope they do something with it. Because if they don't do anything on YouTube, it's just such a missed opportunity, in my opinion at least. I want to see these guys prosper on YouTube. These And they don't have to do stunts. They can do anything. They can react to stunts. They can, they can do anything. I loved watching Chris Pontius and Steve-O react to the time they were on WWE. Go to Steve-O's channel. Type in Chris Pontius, Steve-O react to WWE. Such a classic video. One of my favorite videos from Steve-O because I didn't know about it. I had no idea about the whole situation about Umaga and Steve-O. It was perfect. Perfect. But guys, but guys, wow. But guys, I'm gonna end this here. I'm rambling and talking, but yeah, I'm gonna end that here. Peace out. Oh yeah, say bye to my dog. Peace out.